may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is the case of Scott McRae versus Scott. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Scott McRae. Yeah. You claim that you've been supporting your daughter, Ms. Scott, and her seven children long enough. Yeah. You say that your daughter's husband is a deadbeat, and you wish she'd leave this man and get off the system. Ms. Scott McRae, you are suing your daughter for $3,900 in unpaid loans. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Scott, you say your mother was an addict when you were younger and now tries to act holier than thou. Yes. You believe that your mother is jealous of you and wants your husband. Yes. Oh. Wow. You say Ms. Scott McRae never told you to pay her back. No. Ms. Scott, you petitioned the court for a lie detector test to know once and for all if your mother wants your man. Yes. We will reveal those results later today. Okay. Now, Ms. Scott McRae, why are you so intent on breaking up your daughter and her husband? Your Honor, I don't want to break up my daughter and her husband, but my daughter needs a wake-up call. She's very intelligent. She's smart. I mean, she has goals, and she had aspirations when she was younger that I've seen her just lose total sight of. He's a deadbeat. He's not a good provider. He hinders his family more so, I think, than he can help it. How does he hinder his family? He can't keep a job for more than a week or two. He has a job. When he just did he got get a job. Last week? It doesn't matter how long he got is he going to keep working. it. Two so weeks? Scott McCray. How long is he going to keep it? Just let it be known, Ma. You just, you, you wish you had a man <laughs> like him, oh and that's why God. you claim him to be a deadbeat, because that's oh. what you're used to having, and that's what oh. you want me to have. You're after him. You're after my man. Ms. Scott McCray, why are you calling your daughter's husband a deadbeat? If I have five children depending on me, and they need things in the morning to sustain them while they're at daycare, and this man, What's the toy, things they need? Toy. To I, them. Wanted, what, what I was, they need? I was they sleeping lacking? in what their den. They? Okay. I was sleeping in their den. I watched Toy one night, particularly. He went into the kitchen three or four times, and the whole night he was eating cereal. He was eating cereal. And that's just okay, what they did. That was in a bed. That's what they okay, were doing. Okay, but did that However, take cereal out of my no, children? No, it didn't mouth. take the no, cereal. They couldn't eat the cereal because they didn't McCray. have milk. Why are you oh, only so he drank up all the things, milk? You say only she had to ask me for somebody milk. Somebody be on little okay, things like she had to ask me for milk. Because I'm trying to understand this story. Your mother has accused your husband of being a deadbeat, but and now she said he ate all the cereal. You know what? They couldn't eat the cereal because they didn't have milk. Look what on the cereal. And so, that might be a crime in some houses. You know right? what? It, it, it's but not you so much as that he ate the cereal. He didn't leave she, he didn't any leave for the milk, children, Knowing that those point. children had, was going to need milk so in for the, the next morning, morning to take to daycare, up. there was no milk okay, for their bottles. Besides the cereal incident and the milk issue, mm -hmm. what, else what other there? reason would you accuse her He won't her work. His, his last job that he had... Celeste was working two jobs. The reason he quit his job is so he could go home and babysit the kids. Excuse me, he didn't quit his job, but that's what she ran and told everybody like she always does, tells everybody our business. He was laid off. Mm. If a job runs out of work, they lay you off. But so the why was he fired is, from is okay. it, your daughter and her husband decided that maybe it was more financially beneficial for him to quit his job or if he was laid off, decide that he wouldn't go back to work so that he could take care of the kids. Isn't that a family decision? Your Honor, not when you're getting evicted every six to seven months. It's not, it shouldn't uh -oh. be a family decision. Oh, we get mm. evicted Not every when it's getting, yes, months. every year, every year. They're good. They get. They do good but at tax But let you time. tell that you paid our rent for five and six months. So that's Mom. when I was staying with you when I when you over on Tucker CG. And as soon as I moved out, y'all got Mom. evicted because you yeah, couldn't because continue Yeah, because you to gave me a rent. bounce check. No, I gave Your it. Honor. I didn't give you a bounce we check. We were in a bond. I canceled the check. Were in a bond. Scott, no. Oh, sorry. you canceled it. I canceled four hundred dollars of it. Mike had an eight hundred dollar check. But I had to take four of it to move out of your house because I got sick and tired right, of living in the situation. But that was behind my back, though. It, I don't, I didn't know it to you at all. You lived with I us didn't, for a so year. I lived with you for three months. months. I can't. Three I months. I cannot hear the story with both three of you months. arguing back and forth at one another. Miss Scott, tell me the story. You said your mom wrote your bounce check. Yes, yeah, she came <laughs> to live with us from Asheville. She was in treatment. She left treatment. She got clean. She came and lived with us because she oh. didn't have anywhere else to go. For the first year, we did not ask her for no money. Oh Every week Lord. she got her unemployment, 
she used oh, her money Lord. on her. If I did go to her for dollars here and there, okay, you living with us. She didn't have to buy no food. Ooh. She didn't have to buy no hygiene. Ooh. 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 She did not have to do none of that. Ooh. Now, at the end of the year, we got Ooh. in the bind. Okay, this woman, she met this man. Okay, uh, uh, sewing her royal oats or whatever it's called. She met him. Now, she's acting like a little high school girl while she was living with us, sleeping with him in the house, like, one morning. We getting the kids ready for, for daycare. If Toy wouldn't have walked in the living room, the kids would have seen her full moon. Oh! oh what? Oh, my God. And, and I don't even... What? I never I, even... I don't know if I want to know, but... <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Mm. Doing, oh, doing what, what having the, sex? With the children having sex. You're right, but oh, in my in home, the front room? early in the in the front on lie, the couch, Your That's Honor. That's a lie, Your Honor. Grandma, you That's were not lie, having Your sex Honor. in the front room. That's a lie, Your Honor. What about when we looked out the back window and you was out there in the car with them? I don't know nothing oh. about that. I bet you don't. I don't know nothing about that. Anyway, Your Honor. But to so, let you know what, I'm grown. This part of I'm the, grown. Towards this part Rather of the than have sex in your house, I may have done it in the car. If she's doing these you know, adult business in our home and disrespecting us like that, then let's ask her to help us with the rent. We were two months behind. We needed mm -hmm. to give him $1,200. Mm -hmm. I went to my mother and told her, we got half in cash. Can you meet me the other half of the way so we all still have a place to live? She told me yes. She told me, I'll take y'all cash and give you a check for the full amount. My landlord called me and said, well, this check I'm at the bank and it's not going through. It's not clearing. Mm -hmm. I'm calling my mom. She ain't answering the phone. I didn't have to pay your bill, Celeste. So, I but you I agreed have to, to and, and, I paid and your grandchildren I, I paid were involved. what I agreed to pay. And when I took the other portion and moved into my place, I had to take care of me. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You really don't like your daughter's husband. I don't respect him. Okay. Well, if you I don't respect him... Has he been him, faithful yeah. to okay, your daughter? It, has he gotten anything right? Has he been faithful? If she no, he has not. Respect him, Your Honor, my daughter why has she actually always come home touching on him? from the hospital and caught her husband naked in their house with another woman. Oh! He almost lost a thumb because what? of it. And That's when I say no Okay, good. but if I forgave him for that, why can't you? It ain't about it's me not my husband. him. I just why don't you like still the way gotta he bring it up? You. I don't like the way he does you and your family. So why, why, you, why you do know, you feel food. that it's your... Can I your, say something, Yana? When I let you know... I okay. think y'all, both of y'all need some help. Oh, but because you don't. Your mind you is don't. Wrapped around toy you to don't the need help. And I think he controls so much of your, your life mind that you can't even see too. straight. I, how? How? Because this whole issue is because of toy. Let you tell it. This whole issue is because I He's think a you need some in help her, in with her your eyes, family. But when she comes to my home, the only name you hear out of her mouth is Toy. Toy, can you help me do this? Toy, can you grab this? Toy, can Why you fix me this? Toy, will you fix this? Is Toy, that true, Mr. McCray? This? That's not true, Your Honor. Oh my goodness, that is so not true. Okay, really what about what about the, the day when we was Toy in the home me, having dude. having a couple of drinks, Your Honor? Mm -hmm. She's about to leave. I walk her out to her car. Uh -huh. Now, she got in her car, crunk it up, so, of course, you know, bye, Mom. I turn around to go back in the house, but something just told me to, you know, just look back out the door. I look out the door. She done got out her car, walked up to our car where Toy was sitting, uh -huh. and, and kissed him on his cheek. A slobbery kiss. If he would have turned oh, his face, they would have been tongue kissing. What was that even for? You know oh, what, And then her I exact words were, son-in-law, you're the best son-in-law I ever had. No. I just love you. But if he's you a dad. Wait a minute. So, wait a minute. So wait a minute. Uh, Miss Ma, I seen lying. you. She's lying. Let's get some water. Let's get some water. I am ready to hear from Mr. Young. Please stand up, mm. sir. <laughs> Step to the podium. Well, a lot has been said about you today. Yes, ma'am. And I want to know what you have to add to this. She always touching me on my chest. What chest? <laughs> she always patting on me. She always saying, you do more than I can't get my son or the man I'm sleeping with to do, to have me to come oh and do things. Oh, my God. What is uh, she doing? even called, she even came out the blue one day to even come and get me by myself to come and pick up a tent for her. A $30 that tent. Her $30 grown from son family dollars. and the man she's sleeping my, with in the same house. They were all there when he put that tent up. 
And if I'm not mistaken, I didn't come and get y'all. Y'all came to my house right, that but, day. But like he I said, at first, him. when they she came, came to, to my house, she was like, I'm going to take Toy to the house so, so he can put up my tent. So you believe, you said, believe no, as believe. well she has a little crush on you. I believe she, That's yeah, she I have a little crush and yeah, she have a little mental problem. Now, Miss Scott McRae has taken a lie detector mm. test as it relates to this issue. Okay. Thank you. And uh, we're going to get to that in a moment. She accuses you, Mr. Young, of being a deadbeat. Yes, yes, for me to be a deadbeat, I would get an unemployment every week when I was working. I was working at the Blake Hotel. And what did you do? That she with? have me to work there, right? I sure did. I was making checks. I was paying my rent on time. I was just short of a little bit of cash. But us used to go ask her to, for the change to pick what we have. She always used to come and wait, wait, back it up. What's that? What's that phrase? Some change to pick to put. The like rest. sometimes we may come short. Okay. Now, the only person I have here is my mother and my father. The only people he have here is his grandmother and his grandfather. So if we're short, we got seven kids, Your Honor. Six boys and, and one, girl, one girl, Your Honor, wow. that we take care of every day. Yeah. So sometimes you're saying I can't, you I need a little help. Mm. A little help. What family with seven so kids? So when you say, I just want to be clear when he said we asking for some change, because when I'm thinking of change, I'm thinking of quarters and nickels. No, I'm no, not no, maybe a hundred dollars. Maybe a hundred dollars. All of it. Maybe a hundred dollars yeah. we may okay. have had to ask her for. Mm -hmm. But still, that don't give her no right to parade around the job and just tell, tell everybody. everybody. That I'm working around all the people I work around that toy. Uh, can lie, you Your help Honor. them? That's a lie, Your uh, Honor. So that never happened. Uh, my boss that man, never she used to happened. go to my boss Everybody man. Everybody that even worked there knew who the... I was and knew who he was to me. I no, didn't have to no, say a word. No, Wait, you no. would be I didn't have to say a at word. his job? I worked there. I helped him get the job. Okay. But how could I they know a, who I was? I was, I was human resources manager. But that don't manager don't I don't mean go around your business. I could care less about his business. All right, let's get some order. I care less about his business. So what I want to understand from Mr. Mr. Young is, you have this job. Are you having trouble sustaining employment over a long period of time? No, no. That's a nice way of asking, can you keep a job? No, 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 no ma'am, no, ma'am. You're no, right, ma no, he can't. No. No. It, it he just... said he can't. That's right. He no, can't. he said no. he can't. No. <laughs> now, no, he can't. Why is it that you can't keep one? Because the job always ending. The, so the, you have temporary or seasonal right. work. Yes, yes, ma'am. Now, a lot of people work temporary and seasonal work, so yes. I completely understand that. Are you using your best efforts to provide for these seven yes, children? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No. Okay. Well, if so. not, if not, they look well kept to me. That's because you do it. That's because they we do it. Doing, We're both do in the home. home. You're not going to do No, you're not going to do it. No, he got to get something out of the deal. Let me get to your suit. Now, Miss Scott McRae, you are suing your daughter for $3,900. Yes. For money you say you loaned her that over I the years. That I never knew was a loan, Your Honor. And, I'm sorry? That I never knew was a she loan. Knew because okay. every time I gave her anything, I said, Sylvester, I need this back. Oh. Okay. Goodness. You're saying it was a loan? Yes. Do you have any proof from the court? I have bank statements showing the times that my money went into the bank, highlighting when it came out and, and the times that it Hand came out. Hand those to the bailiff, please. Jerome, let me see those. Oh. You say $3,900 for rent, money for food and clothes. Now, I see bank withdrawals, Miss Scott McRae, but they're just counter withdrawals for cash. Yes, and it would come, the cash that I would give to them to help pay their bills or pay the rent or that I would pay to the landlord. Do you have any receipts from the landlord no, when you gave sir, rent? No, I don't, sir, because I never asked for receipts. He took, I, he dealt that, did dealt you, with them for did that. Did you get an IOU or a promissory note from your daughter no, and her I husband didn't, Your Honor. for money that you've loaned? Because I always took her for her word that she would pay me back. I can see here where you've withdrawn substantial amounts of money. And I also can see here where you've made purchases at stores where there potentially be for your daughter, her husband, or the children. What you don't have is any independent evidence that shows that this was a loan that you required her to pay back. Without something in writing, it is not proven that it's a loan. Are we I clear? We're clear? The ruling on that. is for the defendant. I understand. Now it's time for the lie detector results. Jerome, do you have the envelope? Before I read these lie detector results, it is your contention that your mother has feelings and affections for your husband. It has to be something. And 
maybe wants to be with him. Yes. Oh. What do you think these lie detector results are going to show? <laughs> the truth. And Definitely. if she doesn't want my husband, my mother's like Jacqueline Hyde. Oh. One minute, she's bashing. The next minute, she's loving. And I, I'm getting tired of that, Your Honor. I want her mm. to be a mother. Just straight up and down mother. All right, let's get to the results. I'd like to know what your interpretation Ms. of that Scott is. Ms. Scott McCray, you were asked, have you ever made any sexual advances towards your son-in-law toy? You said no. No. And the lie detector determined... Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Ms. Scott McCray, you were asked, have you ever made any sexual advances towards your son-in-law toy? You said no. No. And the lie detector determined that was the truth. Yes, it was. Miss yes, Scott McCray, you were asked if you want a sexual relationship Ooh. with your son-in-law toy. Hey, my head hurt. You said no, and the lie detector determined that was the, the truth. truth. Yes, it was. Okay, okay, yes, okay. It was. All right. And that's what I would. That's what I would rather hear. I want to say this now that you all have gotten the answers that you came for. Miss Scott McCray, your daughter has chosen to stay with her husband. I can, uh, I see that. Uh, and honor. you have to respect that. And I do. Daughter, stay out of the way. Miss Scott, you have your husband and you have your family. Yes. But let's be honest. When the blank hits the fan, you always call your mother. I do, yes. and I do, Your Honor. And yes. she's there for you in whatever capacity she can be there. Don't minimize that. I wish you all the best of luck and encourage you to just forgive and forget a little. Life's too short. Courts adjourn. Thank you. I respect the judgment that she made, and I think she's an awesome judge. I learned at paternity court that everybody has their ending point and a beginning point. And for my mom, we've ran it dry. So it's time to just build a relationship on the relationship and, and less about the money. I agree. Thank you, mom. Thank you, baby.